G'day guys and girls, it's Captain Carter, and we're back with, again, that game that doesn't let you load in fully. It just throws you straight into a mission because you have been intercepted in the vicinity of Torshaven in the Faroe Islands. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a submarine match again, so tell you what guys, hang on tight. times do I have to tell you guys to shut up? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 150 feet. Make depth one, five, zero feet, die by. Thank you. Alright, Sierra One, what are you? I know you're a subcontact. Oh, I'm hoping you're a subcontact. You don't look like a trawler. What have we got here? It's not Stoot. I think this is going to be another upholder. Con sonar, Sierra One. Is classified as submerged submarine. Oh, I freaking hate it when I'm right. Uh, level off at one to five feet. Whoa. Very close. Extend one to five. Come on, a little bit more. One twenty five. Thank you. This little prick has already a pretty good idea of where I am, and I do not like that at all. He's all—he's pretty much dead ahead. So we're presenting a very narrow uh, sonar pro uh, sonar profile for him to actually track. It's got me on the active, but I cannot hear his active sonar. But he's towed away, he's trying to make very light work of me. Um. Helm, come right. One nine to five. Come right to one nine five. Helm I. Now what I'm hoping to do here is I hate that hound I hate that sound that I can hear every now and again, like ambient sound. There we go. Turn on the sound editing on the headphones now. So now we can hear everything really good. Where the hell? Oh, I was about to say, where the hell are my rudders? Um, <laughs> they were in full turn. No wonder why I couldn't see them. Okay, he is making me rather uncomfortable. Uh, Helm, come left. Uh, turn left, heading zero nine to zero. Come left to zero nine zero. Helm, I. He appears to be alone. I only have one contact on my scope. I'm going to go down. But we're going to do it sneakily. We're only going to use the dive planes. I'm not going to use the rudder. And the reason for that... Oh, sorry, I'm not going to use the ballast tanks. The reason I don't want to use the ballast is because ballast makes noise. Uh, as you go down, the hull starts popping and everything. But if you're pumping in water or pumping out air... Pumping out water, pumping in water and pumping out air, yes. Pumping in water and pumping out air, you're generating, all that air is releasing through water and it makes noise bubbles. And what those noise bubbles do is it causes, oh, sorry, noise bubbles, creates little bubbles which create a large amount of noise. Now, I don't want to do that. I don't know if that's modelled or not. I can only assume that it is. It's safer to assume and be wrong. Where is he? I'm thinking he's going to be right about 9,000 yards. I'm hoping so anyway. <clears throat> I'm better. We're about to nail his targeting solution very soon. 9,000 yards. We should also have visual on him. Where is he? Bearing a 123. Passing 200 feet. There he is, right there. Gonna go full down. Now, keeping in mind, we are only doing five knots at the moment, so I am going very, very slowly. He's doing eight, however. Visual identification. It's definitely another upholder. 
where are we in relation to him? Con, helm, steady course. <laughs> there we are over there. Now we are sinking considerably quicker now. The reason I want to get down is because he can hear me very, very well. Passing 300 feet. It's awfully quiet out as well. It's only 78 decibels outside. I don't like 78 decibels. That's too goddamn quiet. Now, the reason why I'm not trusting this, okay, I'm not trusting that reading. I should, but I'm not going to trust it. And is he turning away? Course of 205. Passing 400 feet. No, he's holding a course of 205. Um, the reason I'm not trusting that reading right there, that reading there, okay, high frequency active means that he is transmitting or that he is sounding his active sonar he's pinging but I can't hear any active sonar I'm not trusting that I am definitely trusting the low frequency passive and the very low frequency toad arrays I'm trusting them because they seem like realistic figures now if he usually wants that figure there climbs up above about 5 forget it I'm already located and he would already be taking steps to try and attack me. Now that being said, he hasn't twitched yet. Feet. He is however turning ever so slightly to the wards us. He was a 205, now he's a 208. I want to get below him. I want to get down to about 1100 feet before I even try anything. I'll be a little bit happier because now we're only at 7,000 yards. Passing 800 feet. Uh, Passing 900 feet. 1,700 feet of water plane. Perfectly fine. Passing 1,000 feet. He's still holding that heading. Hello. That's not what I wanted to hit. 10 knots speed increasing. He heard us. Passing 1100 feet. Firing point procedures. Tube 1, target Sierra 1, upholder bearing 136, range to enable 6,000 yards, weapon ready, ship ready, shoot tube 1. Will he return fire? God, I hope not. Ah, he has returned fire. Wonderful. Fire decoy bearing zero nine zero. Two V, aye sir. Send it up. Get rid of the control wire. Reload with another moss. I want to maintain that wire as long as humanly frickin' possible. Come right to two one five helm I. Only because a torpedo that you cannot control is not a safe torpedo. I also don't want to increase my speed much quicker. Oh dear god. I really want to be able to trust that torpedo, however I cannot trust that torpedo, which is really freaking annoying. I can see his two torpedoes right there, right behind the conning tower. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to do something really goddamn dumb. I don't want to activate that torpedo just yet. But I do want to boogie the hell out of here. Con, torpedo room, tube 8 ready. Set depth 1100 zero, zero feet. Depth one, one, zero, zero feet die by. He is adjusting his course on these torpedoes. We're gonna have to go full we're gonna have to go full head flank. One, one, zero, zero, feet, die by. Right. Activate the torpedo. Cut the wire. Reload tube one. All the head flank. Make turns for three, five knots. Maneuvering up. And hope like hell that those torpedoes do not catch up with me. Now the the Akula can move pretty gosh darn quick. It's not an alpha. 
but it's probably the next best thing. What I now don't like is the fact that he is now adjusting the course of his torpedoes. How much does he know that I'm here? Fairly decent amount. Wow! Left two, zero, four, five, helm I. This could be the move that breaks me. This could be the move that breaks me. However, I am having faith and confidence and trust in my in Come my judgment. Helm. Steady course. Big freaking steps in the opposite direction and as quickly as humanly possible. Making turns for three, five knots. Okay, well good news is my torpedo found him. Come That's good on. news. Noise maker bearing one, six, four. Twenty five hundred yards. I'm not happy with twenty five hundred yards. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, rig ship for ultra quiet. Beautiful, we got him. Did we get him? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one. Yep. Bearing one seven four. There he is. Now, will he implode? Lucky. Oh, bonk. This appears to be one lucky upholder today. He is not going to sink. Not today, anyway. Well, he's not going to implode. Bad news is he's, he's toast already, so there's... You know, nothing that he can do about it. Right. Well, that was good. We've avoided those torpedoes. Now i just got to get out of their range. Uh, all ahead, flank. Make turns for three, five knots. Maneuvering eye. That was quite a good little engagement. We did try sneaking up on him, but he did hear us in the end. We're not exactly the quietest of ships around. Mind you, to be quite honest. Making turns for three, five knots. Neither is he. Neither is he. His tear step's only 900 feet, which is quite interesting that he's got down to 1,700 and is still alive. Um, but that was the reason why I really didn't want to find out if he was actually going to get me. Because spearfish, especially, are extremely hard to dodge. Are we clear? Nope, not yet. Okay. Well, I'll get us clear, and I know that wasn't our target, but, you know, there's nothing much I can do about that. So, are we clear now? Yes, we are. Look at that. Apollo sunk. <laughs> I know it wasn't the mission objective, but what are you going to do? You keep on freaking throwing submarines at me. What do you want me to do? Not oh, for Christ's sake. Well, what's the bet that's an up, another upholder? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this today's episode, guys. If you have, don't forget to throw a like at it, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and go and check out the Captain Carter Discord channel. That's where I announce uh, live streams, organise multiplayer recordings and multiplayer streams. Pretty cool and a great bunch of people are already there. Go and check that out, the link for which is in the video description below. I've been Captain Carter, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you later.